Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing. I want to provide you guys with a report today. This report's going to actually be, uh, you know, call it July 30th, July 31st, and a report of August 1st. As many of you know, I uh, haven't done any reports for the last week, as we have had a big tournament coming up that was uh, yesterday on July 31st, and uh, that's why I didn't do any reports. So I want to share what's actually happened over the last uh, last few days. I'm not sharing over the last week. The reason being is we had uh, some big wins on, uh, on you know, call it uh, Thursday evening, Friday. It changed a lot. So the, the early part of the week, I really, I feel that's irrelevant to share from a report standpoint. That being said, before I do share the report, please, if you haven't already done so, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And if you like my videos, please click on, click on the like button. It helps me out a great deal as an amateur YouTube content producer and the way that YouTube shares my videos with other uh, YouTube users. Anyways, let's dive right in. So um, Friday, uh, July 30th, what happened? We had some strong uh, winds out of the, north, uh, out of the northeast. Um, prior to that, fishing was pretty spotty uh, already on the north shore. And then we had the strong winds out of the northeast. On, that was our, our, on Friday, we did pre-fish as a team. Uh, prior to that, we'd been pre-fishing on uh, different boats. I had had a bunch of uh, charter trips to run, and uh, my, my partners in crime, um, they'd, uh, they'd been uh, covering the water, uh, trying to find different, uh, different pockets of fish. Anyways, on, uh, on Friday, uh, we actually left the marina, and we went east. It was a, it was a bit bumpy, but we went east, and we fished the waters uh, between Highland Creek and the Rouge, anywhere from, call it, uh, 80 feet of water out to about 180 feet of water. You know, call it just west of the Pickering nuclear plant. And, uh, and we found fish. Uh, we hit a number of, uh, we hit a number of rainbow, which we were not looking for, but we also hit a number of coho and a number of salmon. Prior to that, you know, we hadn't been, uh, really hadn't had much luck fishing either east of uh, Bluffers or west of Bluffers. And most of my charters had actually been out deep in uh, three to 400 feet of water. Um, so, uh, you know, as we finished off Friday, uh, you know, we felt pretty positive knowing that we'd found a bunch of fish, uh, you know, east of the marina, uh, talked to a few other friends and, uh, that were either competitors or were not competitors that, uh, were in that cone of, uh, silence. And they'd also found fish, uh, in similar water by, uh, by the Pickering nuclear plant. So we all felt really good about going out there in the morning. So... 6 a.m. Saturday morning, shotgun start, and uh, it was interesting because you saw most of the boats were going east. Uh, a couple of the boats looked like they were going south, and there was a few boats that were going west. We powered up and uh, went east, and I set the boat down in 80 feet of water um, right in front of the stack at Highland Creek and was trolling, trolling west. And we spent about two hours uh, trolling that water with just one rainbow. I did see a few other teams uh, pick up some some uh, salmon, but what I'd seen were relatively small salmon. Uh, so at about eight fifteen, eight thirty, uh, made the decision to uh, to leave that water and run. I wasn't happy with what was happening, so what I did was I actually ran to uh, one of my go to spots when I'm fishing out deep. I ran to three hundred and fifteen feet of water straight in front of uh, the Bluffers Park Marina. And uh, you know it wasn't a big run because we were not too uh, we were not too far just between the Rouge and Highland Creek, and uh, so that run probably cost sorry probably took us twenty minutes or so. Um, one of my tournament uh, team members, Paul, once we sat down, he immediately dropped uh, the first rigger down to one hundred twenty three feet of water. It had a uh, a green uh, actually it was a green um, dot on a green paddle with glow crush. Um, Oki Kingfisher with a hot fish uh, green head with just crushed glow on both sides uh, and uh, some homemade Twinkies that I've made. He dropped that down to 123 feet of water. And I don't actually think the paddle hit 123 feet of water before it got, it got bit. Um, basically, the weight hit 123 and I think that paddle actually starts coming down slowly. And uh, I think we'd had, a, we'd had a pretty large coho follow it down. And 30 seconds later, we've got a, we've got a fish on. Paul fights it, we bring it up, and there's a and there's a nice coho. While we'd have preferred the Chinook, we felt good about ourselves. We now had one fish in the box. Um, so then we uh, we started to get the spread all set out. Uh, it's a six rod tournament, so we were running two riggers, two divers, and two long lines. Made the decision to uh, put out a 200 weight of steel and a 300 weight of steel for our long lines. Um, 
One of the riggers was, uh, I was running a couple of hot fish spoons because that had been my go-to coho rig the last, you know, call it five or six days out in this similar water. And then the divers, we committed those to uh, one to a meat strip, one to anchovies. So we had a pretty, uh, you know, pretty good uh, buffet out there for the, for the salmon. We then proceeded to pick away at rainbow trout for probably the next hour. Um, we did have a couple of salmon bites in that time, but they were small under the 20 inch minimum. Which was, a, which was a problem, so we released those. Uh, so kept trolling out, got to about 360 feet, and our 123 rigger um, fired again, and then fired again. And unfortunately, we lost both of those fish. They were good salmon, good rips, um, bait was gone, but you know, fishing deep, it's really, really tough to, uh, to, uh, to get, those, uh, get those fish. Uh, we then, uh, we then trolled some more and I dropped that rigger down to about 145 feet because I'd been seeing some, uh, seeing some good marks. Uh, but then no, nothing happened. So I gave up on the spoons on the, uh, the rigger I'd committed to Coho's. And at that point in time, I decided to drop, um, you know, my, uh, my starboard rigger down to 121 feet and, uh, put out one of my, uh, you know, one of my, uh, it's one of my customs. It's called a, a glow sick. It's similar to a UV sick that I made with Aaron Shirley a few years ago. I put that down with uh, some glow and UV uh, custom Twinkie flies that I made, and I had a glow anchovy head on it. I put that down, and within three minutes, we got bit with a nice like 21, 22 pound king. Landed that, and I was really, really happy. Unfortunately, it did damage the bait head, so I had to take that off, and I put on another, uh, another anchovy bait head um, and, and sent it back down. About 15, 20 minutes later, it got bit again. I'm on the rod, um, probably a little bit too excited because we'd, uh, we'd lost a number of fish by not getting a good enough hook set. Um, I really did uh, crank down on the rod and made sure I got that hook uh, set into the fish. The problem is I snapped the line on the, on the bait head and lost that fish, which was really a real shame. Anyways, we had a, we had a few other bites and uh, we ended up with a, with a three fish box. Uh, not good enough. The King of Kings tournament's a six fish box. That being said, we were entered into the three fish Calcutta, so we did want to go weigh in and just see see what was going on. We didn't place. That's okay. Uh, you know, we had our bites. Uh, we lost our bites. We should have had a pretty nice box if we got those bites in. But you know, if you were talking to a lot of the teams, you know, a lot of people are struggling to hook those salmon up. You know, it's that time that salmon is starting to turn uh, color. They're getting ready for their stage. Their mouths are getting really, really hard. And if you don't get that, that, that hook really impaled in their mouth, you're losing fish. And that happened to us uh, yesterday. Still, though, we had a ton of fun. And like I said, uh, you know, the fact that we, we ended up going to our B spot, finding the fish, hooking the fish, felt good about that, even though we did, uh, even though we did lose them. So that was tournament day. Uh, big, uh, a big shout out to uh, Greg Emile, who uh, took first place, uh, Team Fishing Four Tails. And a shout out to... Uh, Jeff Fredone, team tails up for taking second place. Uh, two great teams, really happy to see that they uh, they placed number one and, uh, and number two. Uh, Greg also took the uh, the Calcutta, first place in the Calcutta, and I believe second place in the Calcutta was uh, Steve Hardcastle and team from uh, Team Fishmasters. So congratulations to uh, to those folks. So it's Sunday today. I'm taking. I've taken the day off uh, from the water. You know, I always have this day blocked off because with King and Kings, while it's a Saturday tournament, Sunday is the backup day. Uh, so I have the day off. So I'm just chilling today. Done a bunch of housework. Went out for breakfast with my wife, and I think we're gonna go for a bike ride later. So uh, you know, it's it's my chill day. That being said, I do have a report for you for Sunday. I've got a. I had a, one of my teammates was out in the water this morning, and he went five for seven fishing just west of the marina in water from 70 to 170 feet of water. So I think, you know, the, the while the wind did stir some, some stuff up on, you know, call it Thursday night, Friday, uh, things have started to settle down because uh, it was flat calm yesterday and I think the fish are starting to come back in as the water stabilizes. So sounds like there, there was some uh, good fish. He said everything was between 18 and I think 23 pounds today. Um, pretty close to bluffers in that 70 to 170 feet of water this morning. So um, that sounds awesome. Uh, so anyways, I hope that's, uh, hope this report's helpful. It is a long report, but I'm, like I said, I'm covering a few days. Um, but I hope you find this of value. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe done button. If you've done so already, no need to do it again. Um, but even if you have subscribed to my channel, if you like my videos, please click on the like button. It helps me out a great deal. Anyways, 
Good luck out there. Uh, still lots of time left in both the Great Ontario Salmon Derby and the Silver Salmon Challenge for those of you that are entered to find that big fish. And stay safe on the water, folks. Have a good one. Bye.